guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. My husband Eric and I are currently pregnant with our first baby. Um, and we actually conceived this baby, baby through IVF. So um, today I'm gonna be doing my weeks nine to 10 pregnancy update. And so if you're interested to see how the past couple weeks have been going, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I've been keeping track of everything through my phone because I feel like there was just a lot to go through. I'm gonna try to make this quick because the last pregnancy update I did was too long, I thought. So this is weeks nine to 10. I'm actually 10, 10 weeks and like four days right now, I think. Anyway, but um, yeah, so we are gonna kind of start at where the baby is right now as far as development. Um, the baby is the size of a strawberry and, um, the baby has like limbs now and it doesn't have that little tail thing anymore. It's looking more and more like a baby, like a real baby every day. Um, and I follow the Ovia app. I also follow the, um, I'm still really loving the Ovia app the most. I check in with that every day but I also really like the what to expect app and I like watching the videos on that and stuff too I also explore the bump app because you can like look at the um, development of the baby um, like in 3d on there and I think that's really cool so anyway um, I'm also out of breath all the time so this video is probably going to be very breathy so warning you now Okay, so I just want to start with the things that I have been craving lately. Um, I'm still loving ice water. Like, I cannot get enough ice water. I always have this with me at all times, day and night. It's crazy because really, I um, did not like ice water before I got pregnant. I always drank lukewarm water. I think I may have mentioned this in my last update, but still loving ice water. New craving the past couple weeks has been plain cornflakes. Like, whenever I'm hungry and I need to eat something really quick, I just jump to plain cornflakes. So, which I, this is another funny thing. Like, I did not eat cereal before I got pregnant. I really didn't. And almost every morning I wake up and the first thing I do is eat a bowl, bowl of cereal. And then at night, before I go to bed, I eat a bowl of cereal. So, anyway, and sometimes when I get home from work, like today, I ate a bowl of cereal right when I walked in the door. Anyway, so cornflakes it is. Um, I've also been craving bagels, so I've been buying like the mini bagels and um, I'll put like peanut butter on them or just cream cheese or I've been toasting them and putting avocado on them, which that's a new craving. I have not been craving a lot of like vegetables and avocados were kind of an inversion for me in the beginning, but now I'm really craving them. I love them. So I'm trying to eat as many of those as I can. Um, okay. Uh, I am craving a few other healthy foods. I've been craving some like turkey jerky and um, more veggies, but for the most part, I still am eating like a five-year-old. Lots of macaroni and cheese, breads, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I haven't been eating as much Top Ramen, <laughs> so that's good. Um, but man, I just can't wait to feel better and not be eating so crappy. So, um, some of the things that are aversions for me have been, um, melted cheese. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last update because this has been since the beginning, but like anytime Eric makes nachos or like a quesadilla with like melted shredded cheese, it is so gross. Like the smell is so strong and I just, I can't handle it. Um, and I think that's why I don't like pizza either. I still do not like pizza. Like melted cheese like if it's fresh mozzarella on the pizza it's fine but if it's just like uh, melted like shredded cheese which is like what most like cheaper places do I just I can't I just can't um and then salad some salads I still like I've been eating Caesar salad which that's great I'm trying to eat more veggies but um I love Costa Vida 
salads usually, just like a grilled chicken, rice and beans, tortilla, like, and tons of lettuce. I love those salads usually, and I can eat a half of those, like, I can down it easily. Um, and I thought I was craving one over the weekend, and I had Eric get me one, and I could not eat it. Like, one bite was okay, then I just kept going, and I probably had four or five bites, and I, like, I thought, if I'm going to eat one more bite, I really am going to throw up. And I have not thrown up yet, and I don't want to, so I just, like, stopped. I just stopped eating it, and I felt bad that I had, like, ordered that and didn't even eat it, but you know what? I can't, like, I can't make myself eat things that are just making me sick. So, as far as my other symptoms go, I've been having round ligament pain, and on my Bump app, they send me articles, like, every morning, and one of the articles was talking about round ligament pain. So I read it and it's exactly what it feels like. Um, if I turn too quick, I feel like really tight sharpness in my stomach. Um, sometimes I'll just feel mild, like cramping throughout the day. Um, at night, especially, I feel like I mm. feel it more so than in the mornings. Um, but yeah, that is definitely one of my symptoms. I feel like lately my belly is like really just starting to expand. A lot of things don't fit me. Um, and I don't really feel like I have a belly when I look in the mirror, but it's definitely expanding. Um, okay, so I do have nausea still. Um, at around like week eight to nine, it was really minimal. And then the past week it's gotten worse and worse. And I've had moments where I'm like literally over the toilet about to throw up. And sometimes I wish I would throw up because it's just, it sounds like it would be a relief, but um, yeah, so it's, and it's always the worst at night, but it's been kind of like from like 2 p.m. It gets really bad at 7 p.m. still, and then I wait, I've been waking up the past few nights every morning at 3 a.m., and I have to eat something, so I just leave crackers by my bed, and I still take Unisom at night, but, um, I've been having to take like a full one instead of just a half, and I think that's fine. I looked online, it seemed okay. Um, I need to talk to my doctor about that, but um, anyway, I, I've been taking a full um, Unisom tablet or whatever, but it makes me so tired. It makes it so hard for me to wake up in the morning, but at least I'm getting better sleep um, throughout the night instead of waking up so much because I'm so nauseous. Like, ugh, I don't know. It sucks. I feel nauseous right now, even. And I think the more I talk about it, the worse it is. But, um, anyway. Uh, and then I'm, I am still exhausted. I'm still tired. But honestly, I feel like when I exercise in the morning, it really helps with my nausea. Um, so I have been really religious at exercising, even if it's just like for 15 minutes in the morning. Um, okay. Another thing... Um, the, and I'm sure these updates are going to be TMI, so sorry if this is TMI for you, but I have had, like, my chest <laughs> is so heavy and has doubled in size. Like, I am just overflowing every bra and I need to get more bras, but I don't know what kinds to get, basically, because I just, I guess I just need to go get fitted somewhere again, but... I think I need nursing bras, so it's not like I want to go to Victoria's Secret and buy a bunch of new bras there that I can't use, like, postpartum. Because if I'm going to buy new bras right now, I might as well buy nursing bras. I bought one bra from Target that's kind of like, just like a one I could sleep in or, like, work out in, really. It's not like one I would wear with a t-shirt, if that makes sense. So I need, I'm on the hunt for bras, for sure. Um, and I'm also still on the hunt for maternity leggings. Um, in my last update, I did have some maternity leggings that I purchased from Gap. They're super comfortable and I'm still going to wear them, but they are pretty see-through and I am just not used to that. Most of my leggings that I've purchased in the past before I was pregnant have been like higher quality, I guess. I mean, these were like on sale for 13 bucks or something at Gap. So I didn't really spend a lot on them anyway, so I can't really expect them to be like Lululemon quality, but... I need something that is a little bit more, especially with winter here in Utah, is it's gonna be cold. And so I need something with a little bit more like durability and like coverage. So I'm still on the hunt for 
good maternity leggings. So if you guys have any suggestions, recommendations, please leave them below. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for my symptoms. I wanted to talk a little bit more about my exercise um, routine that I'm doing. I did uh, film a morning routine and I showed my exercise routine in there. So if you guys want to watch that, I'll link it up here in the cards or wherever down below. Um, but every morning I do 15 minutes of yoga like, and then like five minutes of meditation. Um, and that's pretty like, that's the minimum I do. And then I run with my dog like two to three times a week. And I usually just run like a mile and a half to three miles and I, I take it pretty easy. I don't go like too fast. I just take it pretty easy. And if I need to walk, I'll stop and walk for a minute. Um, and I think running has been really nice actually so far. So I hope that I can continue to run throughout the rest of my pregnancy because I don't know, it's just like really good meditative time for me. Um, also I have been doing my high fitness classes. So if you guys aren't familiar with high fitness classes, I, I'll leave the link to high fitness down below, like to their website. So you can go check them out. Um, they're really popular in Utah, but they are expanding all over the United States and Canada. Um, and I love high fitness because it's super fun. It feels like dancey, but like you're doing burpees and all that stuff. And I probably talked about this in my other update, but I go to high fitness like once or twice a week and you can totally modify it. Um, so that's why I really like that class because I get like my heart rate up and stuff, but I can just like look at my Apple watch and make sure that my heart rate's not getting too high and I'll just modify everything if I need to, but it totally gives me a really good workout. Um, but one thing I really want to start doing again is lifting weights. So I, the only problem is, is I have to get up earlier to go to the gym and some days that is just so hard. Like even if I go to bed at like nine or 10, I still can't wake up before seven. And I used to wake up at 5.30 every morning to work out and you know, do all that kind of stuff. So I'm really hoping that soon I'll be able to work out early mornings again and like do some weightlifting and some more like just more of my usual workout routine that I was doing before I was pregnant. Okay, so I wanted to talk about a few things that happened this week that were super awesome and exciting, or the past couple weeks, I should say. Um, so we had an ultrasound, I will, that will be linked in the description below, um, that vlog. Uh, we saw the baby moving at nine weeks, you guys, at the like nine week day appointment. Um, it was my last appointment at the fertility center and the baby was like a like big chunky gummy bear looking thing and it's like little hands were so small and just kind of like twitching moving and it was so cool my stomach just growled so if you heard that i need to go eat um and then so that was awesome and then just a few days after that i was able to get in with my new ob and i was so like just wanting to keep an open mind, thinking that maybe I wouldn't even like him and I'd have to like kind of shop around for an OB, but we totally clicked. Like I loved him. And I also will link that video down below cause I did vlog that day. Um, and I don't go back to him until I'm 13 and a half weeks, I think not until the end of this month. So, um, I, I don't know if we'll be doing an ultrasound then, but I hope cause it's like, We've been seeing the baby every other week or every week and it's just been so nice. So anyway, I hope that we get to do an ultrasound there, at least if not listen on the Doppler, which I'm sure we'll do that. And I've even thought about like buying an at-home Doppler just cause I don't know that it would be nice. Like it'd be reassuring to like listen to the heartbeat every day, but who knows if we'll do that. Um, let me know actually in the comments below did you, if you've been pregnant and if you bought an at-home Doppler, like what your experience with that was. Um, okay. And then we got tons of baby clothes. Oh my gosh. My sisters-in-law have just been spoiling me and the baby rotten and I am so grateful for it. I'm actually in the nursery right now. Um, it's not done. We have like the crib stuff over here that needs to be set up. We have a glider over here. And then behind me is the closet. And so I think I'm going to do my updates in here because then we can kind of see the evolution of the nursery, which I think would be fun. So I have a few things hanging up, tons of stuff like um, stored away in the closet, just tons of baby clothes. And I'm so excited. I'll show you a few of the things 
so I just wanted to show you a few of the things that I got. Um, so this was given to me by my sister-in-law. Um, it's so dang cute. And these are like exactly the kinds of colors that I love for baby girls. Like the gray and gold and the little hearts are so cute. It's newborn, but it actually like, it looks kind of big compared to the other newborn stuff that I have. So she might be able to wear that a little bit more. And then my other sister-in-law gave me a ton of hand-me-downs because she has three girls and they're all, um, the youngest is two now. So um, they are growing out of their stuff and there's some stuff that she gave me that hasn't even been worn, like still has the tags on them. And like, she gave me a huge basket of shoes and look at these. Aren't these so cute? Like I, I don't know. I love baby shoes and these aren't even really baby shoes. They're like, I think she could probably wear these when she's a year old, but I just thought how cute is that? And when she's a year old, it'll be summertime. So, so cute. I'm so excited for those. And then um, a pair of hand-me-down shoes that my nieces wore that my sister-in-law gave me are these. And I just thought like, they just look so classic and like almost kind of vintagey. And I just thought like, oh, how cute. And I think these she'd probably wear when she's like, I don't know, more cl like closer to two years old, I would think. Um, and depending on how big she is, who knows, but I just, I'm so excited. So, I mean, it's gonna be a while before she's wearing some of the stuff, but I don't know. It's still fun to look at and get really excited over. Oh, and then um, my sister-in-law is like totally spoiling me with maternity clothes. So she got me some boyfriend jeans and I don't know if you guys can see these, but they have the distressing and they have the over the belly panel. <laughs> And I've already worn these twice because they are so comfortable. They have the cuffing at the bottom, which I really, really like. Um, they are so comfortable. Like, why have I not been wearing maternity jeans my whole life? Um, they do, like, sag a little bit, like, throughout the day I have to pull them up. But that's because, I one, I don't have a belly. But I have heard that um, maternity jeans do that. That's, like, kind of a normal thing. But... It's fine by me because they're so comfortable that I don't even care. So I've really enjoyed wearing maternity jeans already and I'm only 10 weeks, but whatever, I'm good with that. And I think I might get online and order a pair of like black distressed maternity jeans as well because I really like those for the fall and winter. Um, and my black jeans that I had last year definitely don't fit me anymore. They are really tight. So even though I don't have a belly, like I still feel like I'm just ugh, gaining weight. So as far as weight gain goes, I have only gained about four pounds so far. Um, I actually don't know if that's like high or low or a lot or whatever. I don't know. Um, my doctor weighed me and said everything was good when I saw him last week. So I think we are good then. Um, but I still feel just like I feel like I'm gaining weight, like I'm starting to fill it in places that I'm like, oh. But I haven't started using any body butters yet. I just like lotion up my body. Um, so if you guys have any uh, like suggestions for body butters that you really like, um, I was watching Fruitful My Fertility Candace's video the other day and she was talking about her second trimester favorites. And so one of those things was just coconut oil and like she makes her own body butter so I think I might do that too um it's just like coconut oil and vitamin E and like pure shea butter so probably just gonna make my own unless you guys have like a really good recommendation for me I'll check that out as well and the last little fun thing that happened the past couple weeks was we got to go uh watch our nieces for the weekend and while well, my brother and his wife went to Chicago to run the marathon. So it was super fun to see Eric with, we babysat him before, but it's just super fun to see Eric with the three girls because they have uh, um, girls that are six, four, and two. And it's just kind of like, that could totally be our future because we have three embryos. One of them is already in me and it's a girl. 
and the other two are girls as well. So that could be totally be our future. So it was super fun to just um, watch Eric and just kind of play mom and dad for the weekend. Um, I just love being with my nieces and nephews and I'm super lucky to have a lot of them. Uh, so that was a fun thing that happened the past couple weeks. So that's pretty much it for this update, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Let's chat in the comments. I love talking with you guys there. And um, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of updates and I'm like on my stories a lot. So we can chat there as well. And you can get more like day-to-day -day updates there. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!